Okay, this hole's right down there, 380 feet. We're gonna be throwing the Faro off the tee. Mando left of that shopping cart right there. What's going on you guys? Today we're out here at Lexington Park. Brand new course here in Pensacola, Florida. It's a nice 18 hole course. We're gonna be playing out here with some Bedanza stamp disc. We got the new Halo Esplin Sphinx. If, uh, if we can get Bedanza to comment on this video, I will give away this Halo Esplin Sphinx. So go flood him on Instagram. Make sure you guys let him know that we're doing this video. If he'll comment on this video, I'll give this away to one lucky winner. So make sure you stick till the end to find out how to win it. So the molds I'm gonna be throwing today, we have an alpaca to putt with. We have an Inca for the mid-range, slightly overstable mid-range. We have the Halo Esplin Sphinx, like I just mentioned. And then we have a Faro. I'm pretty sure this is an Iblin Faro. I'm pretty excited about this. This thing I feel like is gonna bomb, especially out here, we got some longer holes. So we're gonna jump right into it. We're starting on a par four, let's get it. All right, we've got some wicked headwind going on right now. This is a 470 foot, 480 foot par four. We're gonna be throwing the ferro off the tee. All this in the inside of the fence right here is OB, so you gotta keep it right. Not that far right, but really far the wrong way. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw the Sphinx. Wow. Okay, we're gonna hit a little Pensacola push so I can go off the fence. All right, nice little birdie there. These alpacas actually, uh, you know, they, I actually thought about switching to alpacas at one point just because they feel really good in my hand. Um, I think they're a little bit more stable than what I like. I putt with pixels right now. So I like a nice glidey straight putter, but these feel really good. So we got this hole right here. It's about 290 feet down there to the basket. Uh, we're gonna throw, let's try the Sphinx out. Oh yeah, it's a very nice rip from, this, from the Sphinx there. Didn't turn at all, uh, probably because of the tailwind, keeping it stable, but I really like that. Yes sir, easy tapping. We got a little island hole here. It's about 300 feet. All the sidewalk is gonna play as OB. I'll show you guys a little ghetto drone footage right, right quick, AKA me just holding up the tripod. We're gonna be going Inca off the tee here, seeing if we can't park the island. Uh, yeah, see what we can't do here. We're gonna go around the tree, hopefully. That was really nose up. We're safe on the first island. Oh God, we're safe on the first island. I'm gonna see if I can't park the, uh, the island that the basket's on with the Sphinx. Just go straight at it. Oh. There's that neg three turn. <laughs> There's that neg three turn. I saw it there for sure. Let's just try to go wide spike with the Pharaoh. Yes. Oh man, woo, that was a little short. All right, this hole here is 370 feet, just down there. Another wide open shot. Let's see if we can't park it with the Faro. Okay, there we turned it. Can feel that wind. Stable up a little bit. It's about pin high, definitely. Definitely turned it a little bit though. Okay, so we've got another island hole here. OB, long of the basket, short of the basket, and right. Basically all the road is gonna be OB. It's 300 foot par three. We're gonna be throwing the Sphinx off the tee. We got a little headwind here. Actually, straight headwind. So here we go. We're gonna see how stable this thing really is. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a sick line right there. We had a little bit of a headwind, so I put it on hyzer. It stood up, turned a little bit. Whew, that was awesome. Never burned over on me though at all. I kind of was scared that it might burn over being an egg three into a headwind. 
But uh, no, I just trusted in a little bit of hyzer and it did great. That was an awesome flight. Let's throw a couple more just for fun. That's way long. Oh, wait, it's stolen. Yeah, it's long. <laughs> I don't think we caught the long OB quite there though. You really gotta go far to hit that long OB. Okay, the Pharaoh actually did go long past the, past the sidewalk. So if they count it sidewalk and beyond, we definitely went long with the Pharaoh. What about the Inca? Wow. Super nice flight there from the Inca. A little short, but that's kind of really all I expect to do with a uh, overstable mid-range. The Sphinx is absolutely hazarked. Okay, I have a little POV putt. All right, guys, just gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you guys wanna get entered into the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video and comment down below and let me know what your favorite infinite disc mold is. Mine right now is probably the Scepter. I've been throwing a nice C blend color glow Scepter. But yeah, let me know what you guys' favorite infinite disc mold is in the comments. And we're gonna be picking one lucky winner a week from today. I'll put that up on the screen. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, Anthony, if you watch this video. Love you guys. Peace.